Uh, hi guys, um, sorry for the lack of activity on my channel. Unfortunately, I've been very busy with work related stuff and uh, we had Christmas upon us, so that's all done now. And I'm back on again on making videos. Um, as you remember, before we went to Christmas time, I bought these uh, DC DC converters from eBay. And I said that I'm gonna test them and find out how you know how reliable and how accurate and how efficient they are. So what I've done exactly that's uh, that's what I've done. I've uh, taken one apart. It's easy. You just remove the plastic and the rest of it just comes out. It's not potted or anything. It's got a bit of a silicone um, on the uh, on the inductor which is stuck to the the cover here. But you can pull it out easily. Not a problem. Now let's just do look at it if the camera focuses you can see here what we got we got it adjust pin we got the output we got the ground we got the ground we got the v in and we got the enable which is labeled on and off now all of this we just look at it here so the enable is already wired in via resistor the ground is goes straight over to the output ground so they share the same ground obviously then you got the input here you got one capacitor across the input but unfortunately there's no capacitor here for the output I assume that this is the way this is is um, is soldered in in a circuit and then the output goes through um, you know a capacitor bank to you know sort the ripple and the rest of the stuff out for the for the circuit so that's what I'm exactly have done on my test circuit I've put it to 100 microfarad capacitors on the output and that's that's improves the stability of this a lot obviously because you do require a smoothing capacitor at the end of any DC DC converter and um, we got another diode here I don't know what's the what's the purpose of that diode this here <clears throat> and then we got the actual IC here then we got some of the circuitry for the timing for the frequency and then we got some uh, resistor here to set the output voltage because this can be um, adjustable if you um, if I remove these resistors here and then use this to put it through a variable resistor and through the output I can uh, make this go from anything from 1 volt to 20 volt if I'm feeding 23 volt into this um, I'm going to show you that when you start moving the voltage up from anything from 7 voltage upward it does have some weird effect on the output of the DC DC converter I will show you that <clears throat> okay now what we got here I'll just show you the back of it there's nothing at the back uh, this is some uh, crappy quality PCB uh, I, this is supposed to handle 3 amp at 3.3 volt output this does not handle 3 amp. I mean, just looking at it, you can tell that the little diode, pisan diode that's got here, and the little you know inductor that's got here, and the tracks that's got here, no way can this handle 3 amp at 3.3 volts. So we're going to do some tests and find out exactly uh, what this little piece of uh, third DC DC converter can handle. So the setup is: I've got my uh, dummy load. Like always, which is not in the, even in the camera shot. Whoa, there we go. Let's just zoom in. Let me see. Just sort this whole thing out. There we go. We don't want the camera to do what it did last time. I'm trying to commit suicide. So we got the dummy load. This is the output of the DC DC converter, and this is supposed to be reading the input voltage which I'm feeding into my DC DC converter which right now is not so let's just see again Oops, in the wrong track there we are and uh, another visible let's just see there we go let me just chuck something under this there we are. So this is reading the input voltage to the DC DC converter. This is the output of the DC DC converter. And obviously this is the dummy load to find out exactly what this little DC DC converter can handle. So let's straight away jump up to almost 2 amp. Again, this is the input voltage, 8.4 volt. And the output has dropped to three point, almost 3.2 volt. 
let's just go down again so we are almost 3.3 .3 volt and at almost 2 amps so let's I'll say about 1.8 amp we are at almost uh, 3.2 volt so we've dropped about 100 millivolt at not even near the recommended output current of this so 100 millivolt not bad let's increase the output sorry input voltage so as you can see here 22 volt as you increase the voltage the output decreases see again I'm going down on the voltage so I'm on 18 volt now let me just put something underneath here it's better visible there we go so I'm coming down as you can see this is going up for some reason which shouldn't be like this so I'm on 7 so let's say I'm on 6 volt and we're getting closer to you know what it can handle and the actual current is gone up as well so now I'm putting 2 amp and the output is almost close to what is you know what is supposed to be at 6 volt but if I go up you can see the current is dropping so is the voltage so as I said it's, it's I'm not sure if this uh, chip inside this DC this converter is actual genuine chip or is a fake fake IC oh, if it just focuses there we go I'm not 100% sure if it's genuine or it's, uh, it's fake but uh, this obviously is not supposed to happen increasing the voltage should not uh, increasing the input voltage should not decrease the output voltage okay and uh, let's just show you what I've got here there we go so I've got two output capacitors there and this is the circuit obviously down here this little DC DC converter let's see how high it is it's getting there it's getting warm uh, the chip itself yep definitely warm to touch and that is at 2 amp at almost almost 3 point well yeah 3.2 volt at 13.26 input and this is the ripple and the output so what are we, we are on uh, 100 millivolt per division let's just bring it down make it simpler so I'm on 500 volt Anyway, I've got cursors, so it's telling me that the voltage, the ripple, peak to peak, is about 500 millivolt at 2 amp. Remember, we put in 2 amp. So let me just bring the output down. So what we got here, okay, putting the current does not seem to affect the ripple and the output. So right now I'm pulling 1 amp. As you can see here, I'm pulling 1 amp. And still the same so if I just move this up so what we got we got 200 per division 200 about 400 and uh, yeah for about about 430 millivolt of ripple at 1 amp so let's just wind it up to 2 amp and we go it's still the same it's got a little bit up so instead of 430 we're going to 470 millivolt of ripple per division sorry uh, minimum ripple pick to pick and we are on what 3.2 volt and we're feeding 13.2 and let's see if increasing the voltage changes the ripple so what I'm doing I'm decreasing the input voltage now as you can see it does affect it so what are we on now we are on 280 millivolt of ripple at f almost 6 volt <clears throat> so I'm, I'm thinking that this DC-DC converter 
it is rated for only 5 volt. So if I go to 5 volt, oh, let me just come up. There we go. Nice, sweet 5 volt in. 3.23 out. We pull in 2.1 uh, amp. And the ripple has gone down to, so we are on 200 millivolt per division, about 210 millivolt of ripple on the output. And this is at 5 volt in. And this is the output we get in. Oh, sorry, this is the output we get in. Yeah, so I'm thinking that this, which is supposed to be, and we got this little data sheet that I've just copied. As you can see, input voltage max it says 23 volts, so it can handle up to 3, 23 volts. But as you go above 8 volt, this acts weird; it doesn't work properly. And as you can see here, you can make the output go from anything from almost 1 volt to 20 volt, and it says the output current at 3 amp. Uh, I assume that 3 amp is if you got. Uh, where's the one I have? I assume that 3 amp it's only when you got a proper diode, not this little Pisan diode that we got here. If I can just grab, uh, yeah, there we go. This little Pisan diode that we have here, there's no way that this can handle free amp. I mean, uh, let me just get another diode in comparison. Uh, if I can find the diode, there we go. So, this diode that I have here, we can see here, which is bigger than what I've got over here, this little tiny pissant diode, this is rated, I believe, for, uh, let me see, for I think 2 or 3 amp. So you can see the size comparison to this little tiny pissant diode over here. So... I'm 100% certain if I put a beefier inductor here and a better diode there, I can make this go to 3.3, uh, sorry, 3 amp, no problem. And also what I need to do is probably you need to uh, make the tracks a bit beefier, the ones that's going to carry the, the current. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little circuit and uh, exactly the same what it's got here, same circuitry here. And then just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a better inductor and better diode and see if I can improve the the current capabilities of this little DC-DC converter. But as it stands, feeding 5 volt to get 3.3 volt out for you know running microcontrollers and stuff like that, it's not bad. At the price, I mean, if you look at the, the sheet that I have here, the price for one, if it zooms in, for one IC on its own is £2. Just the IC on its own, and I bought this for less than two pounds with everything in, you know, all the circuitry and all the inductors and whatever crap that it's got on it. So, you know, f uh, at the price that I bought it, it's fine. It's fine. It's you know, it's it's, it's got to do what it's what it's supposed to do. And uh, no way am I gonna use this for a microcontroller that's gonna pull, you know, that much current. I mean, the maximum I'll probably use it for is less than an amp, which is gonna do fine. Which is not gonna have an issue for what I wanted to use. So. You know, all in all, it was a good, good buy. You know, it was, it was a decent, decent purchase. It was all right to, uh, for you know, to use it for my future projects and stuff. But uh, for three point three, sorry, for three amp at three point four volt, um, no way, it cannot handle that. So, yeah, do not believe everything you read on eBay until you do your own test. And uh, yeah, so yeah. Thanks for watching again, and uh, I am going to do more videos now, I've got a lot more time on my hand, and uh, like always, if you like the videos, please give a thumbs up, and thanks for watching, and all your support. Thank you very much, bye.